all my crafty friends. This evening, I'm going to be working on some mini composition books. I have a whole office full of friends that I want to make these for. And I have lots of papers, some scraps, some 6x6 six six papers, um, different ephemera, bling. So we will see where this takes us. All right, I have my glue, I have some foam tape, and away we go. All right, so let's start by cutting these up. This is from the Doodlebug set down on the farm, and I'll be using these on the front. Okay, we've got those going and let us start. I'm just going to glue it on all together and then cut around it. Put the glue on the book itself and I'm going to leave the black on there. kind of do a half and half here so we get a little bit more interest okay I'll speed this part up Okay, I don't want it to go past the black. There we go. I just cover up the red part. All right. Okay. Let's find something to put on the front. Pop it up with foam tape. All right, there's one. Um, did I have? Let's go ahead and put a little bit of bling. No, let's leave it. Leave it the way it is. That way it can be for a guy or a girl. Because there's several in my office. I'm just going to send send it all to them and let them decide who, who gets what. Okay, there's one. And let's do chickies. I think this is cute. Okay. 
I have we have all different people, different interests in that group. And we're gonna do some music here in a little bit. But I thought these were adorable. Who could who could turn down this, right? Okay, well, that messed up. All right. Yep, I missed that. Let's try to get it even. Okay. Okay, here we go. It's really hard sometimes to make sure it gets right up against that the black. number one. I know. I thought I had another second. Yes. Okay. Key number two. So anyway... I will be going to work tomorrow night. As a nurse, and especially because I work nights, um, the parents definitely need me. But I think I'll be fine. Matter of fact, I'm pretty sure I know I'll be fine. Okay, here's some chickies. Let's find something to put. Oh, this is cute. There you go. Yep. All right. No oh, goody, more scraps. <laughs> and Okay, there's two uh, for something a little different some western like succulents here I 
I had planned on getting some making these with the, the regular size composition books but I did not get out and get any and so I'm paying for my procrastination <laughs> so hopefully they can use these I can't remember if this is stamping up paper or from a G-stash from, from Crazy Paper Chick. She's also a stamping up demonstrator, so who knows? I don't recall. I'll decorate with. work. Okay. Number three. Oops. I'll make sure it dries a little bit first because it'll slip on me. That's what happened to the last one I did. Or the chicky, one of the cheeky ones, I think.
just a little bit of bling. You can tell what's the front and what's the back. Let's see if we can put on something here. Just explore, create. I think there's eight or nine people in the office. I don't remember for sure. I don't go there very much. Do we have? No, we don't have any more. I'll save those for another time. And let's get started on this. Now I know this was from a D stash. From Crazy Paper Chick. Just got the sayings writing on it. Good for a guy. Depends on how I want to decorate it, I guess. that dry a little bit so that one goes with that and this one whoops yeah this was definitely girl woman lady female This is paper that I used to make a scrapbook page with one of my mom's pictures. I believe it was a picture of her and me when I was what, 15, 16 months old in Florida at my grandma's house. Nana, we call her. So this should be red dry. So we'll cut this one. This is kind of a more of an assembly line technique. Start working on a second one while the first one's drying. I didn't know these don't take very long to make at all. It's just kind of like a little thank you. Uh, members of this group attended my wedding. So, just a little something. And I know they're going to definitely use these. Again, I will let that dry while I'm working on this one. Hindsight, this one, these flowers are bigger than those flowers. <laughs> Should put that on the front. OK. 
Okay. that and hmm interesting Let's put music notes on it because of the black. This is a very musical group. This is an easy way to do this without making too much of a mess when you have intricate pieces. But that also means I have to lay something down so I don't make a bigger mess. Avoiding one mess to make a big mess. Okay. There. Okay. There is number five. So let's see, one, two, three. I'm trying to think how many people. I think I can get one. Oh! Forgot about this one. Ha. Ah, okay, good. <laughs> and get one more out of this too. Good deal. I want everybody to have one. Should we? Uh, we have, so we have the flowers. We have blue. Yeah. I have several of these hellos because I die cut a bunch out um, from my Sunday school class to make cards. Uh, the St. Patrick's Day cards. 
and I will link that. Who am I? I will link that up here. <laughs> And then we'll do the same technique, only this time I'll use a piece of paper. And I'll put a dot in the middle, right here, so I can just dob it up. down a little bit and we will have to okay six and then this is seven Okay, let this dry. Okay, we'll set that aside to dry, and then we'll, ooh, come on out, yep, let me grab some more, okay, I found them, <laughs> six, nine, All right, let's do the music. Like I said, they're a very musical bunch also. Very creative. One girl plays the piano just eloquently. And sings just as much so. Okay, let that dry. Let's put it on both sides here. Hmm.
I used this paper on my wedding album also and some of my thank you cards. Oops, I didn't do it right, did I? Okay. This is beautiful paper. Absolutely gorgeous. Perfect for Valentine's Day. So we will let that sit. And we will cut this down. It's actually easier to cut it if it was further out here than it is really tiny like that. All right, there's that one. Uh, let's see, shall we do the same thing? Sure, why not? Where's, there they are. had some of these for a long time oops well there goes the diamond we'll forget that <laughs> okay uh, let's try this one and the stickiness gets weird when when stuff gets old oops see there goes the, the diamond so I'll just put it on the bottom okay there's a will, there's a way. There. Okay. And then the hello in the middle. Seven, number seven, all right. Beautiful, beautiful. Now this has a lot of stuff on it, so I'm not sure. a piano there or not I think it's fine the way it is Beat. okay now let us go to this is out of a Miss Sparkle um, was it, it's not 6x6 six six. I think it's 6x8 yeah. Okay. I need some more glue. I have made these in the past with snail. Matter of fact, I had a uh, Facebook Live making these. But of course, the uh, the orientation was wrong, so it was, it was kind of goofy. Okay.
Okay. These are small enough that one one of these small pages will, will fit. So <laughs> I'm happy about that. And they're cute. I think anything small just is cute. Okay, let's go ahead and let that dry. I think I can decorate the front. I'll let this be, I don't know. Let, yeah, let's do that. And I'll, I won't I won't put it up on foam tape. I'll just let it go. It is a little bit complicated. These little bitty things. that let that dry and cut it and then we're good okay one two three ten I think ten will be enough let's go ahead and do another music one I really like this paper nope I wasn't gonna do that Put the glue on the book, or I'll end up with a mess. A big mess. Okay. And then the other side. one because it's got the cello got the cello on the front so we'll be a little bit more continuous here okay we will put that aside to dry and finish this one I hate when that happens. I ended up cutting into the the back of the, the chipboard. But anyway, there's that one. Okay, we're almost done. Get to play with the bling and see what goes good. Okay, good. Let's oh, uh, let's do the gold. Of course, I have to glue these on. Let's put them nearer to the to the black part there.
I love music myself. I, uh, I've been playing handbells for eight years now. And I'm learning to play the Mountain Dulcimer. I used to play guitar somewhat when I was in high school. And I thought I wanted to pick it up again, but I thought with my hands and my wrists, uh, I just couldn't get around the neck, you know? So Mountain Dulcimer, I really like it. Okay, let's go to Hmm. We don't really need we don't really need words. There's already words on here. But I think that'll work fine. Okay. Maybe we can put something here. No, maybe create, sing, create something that'll match, but I don't see too much. Let's see. Okay. Let's, let's go ahead and put some notes on here too. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, there we are for our for many composition books. Thank you so much for joining me, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.